Hello everyone. Welcome to the first session of Respiration in Plant, Chapter 7 for Class 9th. I am Amya Madhuri. Today we will discuss about respiration. What is respiration? What are the steps? What is the difference between respiration and burning? What are the parts that are responsible for the respiration? Types of respiration and difference between photosynthesis and respiration. All the living organisms have different metabolic processes going on inside their body. These metabolic processes can be divided into two anabolic process and catabolic process. What is anabolic process? The processes which are constructive, which are responsible or in the processes which something is produced it is called as anabolic process. Example is photosynthesis. In photosynthesis, in the presence of sunlight, carbon dioxide and water, starch or glucose is produced. So, it is an anabolic process. Catabolic process, the process in which food is broken down or anything is broken down, then it is called as a catabolic process. Example is respiration. In respiration, in the presence of oxygen, the food or starch is broken down into small pieces and it, its breakdown gives us energy or produces energy. As the food breaks down, it is called as a catabolic process. Now, what is respiration? Respiration is a catabolic process of releasing energy from glucose for carrying out life processes. And it occurs in so many steps. And this biochemical process is done by the presence of enzymes. So here the chemical equation is C6H12O6 plus 6O2 or 6 molecules of oxygen gives 6 molecules of carbon dioxide, water and energy. So what are the steps in respiration? In respiration, glucose breaks into carbon dioxide, water and energy. It has so many chemical steps done by enzymes. Chemical energy in the form of ATP. Energy is produced in the form of ATP. The full form of ATP is adenosine triphosphate. And some energy is released in the form of heat. There are two phases in respiration. First one is glycolysis, second one is Krebs cycle. Glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell in which glucose is converted into pyruvate. After it is converted into pyruvate, pyruvate enters inside the mitochondria. Mitochondria is a cell organ. So inside the mitochondria, the pyruvate changes into carbon dioxide, water and energy. This is called as Krebs cycle. In the diagram you can see in the cytoplasm glycolysis occurs which releases two ATPs and inside the mitochondria Krebs cycles occur and by the process carbon dioxide and 36 ATP and water is released. So total two ATP from glycolysis and by Krebs cycle 36 ATP total it makes 38 ATPs in aerobic respiration. Now what is the difference between respiration and burning? Respirational respiration is a cellular process whereas burning is a non-cellular process or it is a physical process. Respiration occurs in the body temperature at the body temperature whereas burning occurs at ignition point. All the materials have a point at which they burn and the point where they starts burning is called as ignition point. Respiration occurs in so many chemical steps whereas burning has only one step. Respiration is a biochemical as it, as it occurs inside a living body whereas burning is a physical chemical process that is it occur outside a living body. So it is a physical process done by heat. And respiration is done by enzymes. 
in respiration energy is liberated as atp and heat and in burning energy is liberated as heat and light so these are the basic difference between respiration and burning now what are the parts through which a plant respires plant can respire through all the parts of its body the body parts are leaf stem and root in the leaf there are small openings these are called as stomata stomata are guarded by guard cells and when they open through the stomatal opening the gaseous exchange takes place so through leaf plant can respire second lenticels lenticels are the opening present on the old bark of a stem these are permanent opening they are not controlled they are always open and respiration occurs through it third one is the root root is present under the soil and it takes the oxygen which is present inside the air spaces present in the soil particles and the respiration occurs from the sea free surface of root so respiration in plant plant respired through leaves by stomata from atmosphere stem by lenticels from atmosphere root by the general surface from the free spaces in soil so we require ploughing or aerating the soil plant take oxygen and leave carbon dioxide plant also respire plant take oxygen and leave carbon dioxide and it is done both in day and night why it is advised not to sleep under a tree in night because in the day time photosynthesis occurs and photosynthesis releases oxygen whereas in respiration oxygen is taken and carbon dioxide is released so in day time as due to photosynthesis we get oxygen but in night time as light is not present so photosynthesis is stopped so only the respiration occurs and plant take the oxygen and leaves carbon dioxide so the carbon dioxide concentration near the tree increases because of this it is advisable not to take rest under a tree in the night next what are the types of respiration in plant there are two types of respiration one aerobic respiration another one is anaerobic respiration what is aerobic respiration respiration that occurs in the presence of oxygen is called as aerobic respiration so what is the chemical equation glucose c6h12o6 plus oxygen six molecules of oxygen in the presence of enzyme is converted into six carbon dioxide plus six molecules of water and 38 atp here the glucose is completely oxidized because of this we get the maximum atp that is 38 atp and some amount of heat the end products are carbon dioxide and water and 38 atps are produced from one mole of glucose what is anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration the respiration which occurs in the absence of oxygen is anaerobic respiration here the equation is c6h12o6 here oxygen is absent so in the presence of enzymes it is converted into C2H5O6 that is ethyl alcohol or ethanol plus carbon dioxide and only 2 ATPs here there is incomplete oxidation of glucose due to the incomplete oxidation only 2 ATPs are produced and second thing the because of this ethyl alcohol is produced in the and water is not produced here and it occurs in certain parts of the plant and it is temporary 
and in some bacteria anaerobic bacteria are there who respires anaerobically so aerobic respiration is otherwise called as oxybiotic as it is as it occurs in the presence of oxygen anaerobic respiration is otherwise called as anoxybiotic because it occurs in the absence of oxygen so here in the day and night you can see in the daytime photosynthesis occurs and in the night time respiration occurs what is the difference between respiration and photosynthesis these are the two processes occurs in plant respiration is a catabolic process here glucose breaks down and photosynthesis is a anabolic process here starch or glucose is formed respiration occurs in all the living cells whereas photosynthesis occurs in the presence of chlorophyll respiration occurs all the time that is both day and night whereas photosynthesis occurs only in the presence of light respiration uses oxygen and glucose but photosynthesis uses carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight in the respiration carbon dioxide is released whereas in photosynthesis oxygen is released in the respiration process atp and heat is produced the stored for glucose gives atp and heat and in photosynthesis light energy is converted into chemical energy and it is stored in the form of starch so these are the basic difference between respiration and photosynthesis because of this respiration and photosynthesis are opposite to each other in respiration oxygen is used in photosynthesis oxygen is liberated in respiration carbon dioxide is liberated and in photosynthesis carbon dioxide is utilized because of this respiration and photosynthesis are opposite to each other so in the next class we will study about some experiments related to respiration in plants thank you